<sighs> Afternoon campers. You know, my one of my daughters came home uh, the other day and she said she'd been to a house party and her and her friend in the west of Ireland and her and her friend were apparently in a big argument um, with everybody else at the house party because they were discussing the US election and uh, the majority of the other 16 year olds were in support of Kamala, Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> which is hilarious and this is off the back of one of the Irish national papers doing a poll allegedly uh, saying who would you vote for if you were in America and uh, the, it came in like 76 percent for Kamala it's extraordinary this is such an extraordinary day the energy today is palpable as it has been throughout this whole process because this process that we are actually going through sorry my camera's about to give up um is completely spiritual you know this this election is a spiritual choice between good and evil and it's never been clearer and a lot of people that watch my channel have been through the ringer since covid well before covid actually but um covid was really the the kickstarter of the spiritual war that we're in to make it really apparent and a lot of us were called into action to speak out at the time and in that process being a Donald Trump supporter has been really perilous and, and very you know I, I, I've told this story before but I remember going into a cafe for a sandwich and um I think it was in 2021 and the, the lovely woman, usually lovely woman behind the counter served me up and she said, um, I think we were, I don't know why Donald Trump came up in conversation, but she basically said, I hope he dies of the COVID. Here's your sandwich. And I was like, whoa, that's a bit strong. I mean, it's wishing death on somebody. I mean, I grew up with the paedophile Ted Heath as prime minister and the monster Margaret Thatcher, and then the idiotic John Major, and then Tony Blair, the mass murderer, and then, well, Cameron. I mean, all Satanists, all of them. Monsters. And most of them paedophiles as well. But I never wished death on them. I don't think I ever wished death on any of them. And, and Donald Trump is the most attacked man in the universe, in history. Which kind of tells you something, doesn't it? Because everything we're getting is a choice between good and evil. And we've all been through this incredible initiation towards ascension, because that's what's really happening. And, you know, standing up for Donald Trump gets you attacked, but it strengthens you at the same time. Like George Carlin said about germs, it's, it's kind of being tempered like um, steel in a forge and that's what's happening spiritually we're being tempered and everybody's being given this choice and whatever happens today it's really about um the the, the general public seeing that we have been under a spell our whole lives in ireland they still are obviously and, and around the world i'm not just picking on the irish it's a spell that you can undo because the voices in your head are coming from heaven and hell. I just interviewed Jerry Marzinski. It's in my Twitter feed. It's on my Rumble channel. It's an amazing interview. You should work, definitely go and watch it. And he, what Jerry is a psychotherapist who, um, through his work with schizophrenics and, you know, very um, kind of Arkham Asylum type criminals, um, discovered and proved beyond doubt that entities, invisible entities or demons or archons are, you can read our thoughts and place thoughts in our heads. And that's what's going on with all the people that can't see that Donald Trump is working for the light. Um, it's really a test of whether you can resist those voices in your head. And uh, you can, you can resist those voices. So, Whatever happens today, if you're pro-Trump or not, whatever, we're, the world's going to change. The world's going to change 
towards something extraordinary. The future that I've seen is beyond words. It's, you know, and I've had all this confirmed by the ships that, literally ships have visited me. I've seen a dragon made of light fly over my head. I have a witness as well. And uh, life is changing incredibly for the better. And I think really this is a message of hope and love and staying calm in the middle of the madness because we are about to enter. I think Donald Trump said the next three months is what he's worried about. And I've listened to him now for eight years and he speaks in code, but he's telling us all the time what's really going on. And whatever happens at the election, we did, none of us actually know what's going to happen. I mean, there's no way that Kamala could ever possibly get the majority of the vote in a, in a normal situation. They'd only steal it. But it is the biggest sting operation in history and they are being caught and the world is going to know the truth soon, which will vilify all the people like me that stood up. And they, but it's not about us. It's just about, you know, people like me have just been trying to save lives and just say, look, the vaccine is poison. Um, your government wants to kill you. Your, your world is run by satanic paedophiles. These sound like crazy conspiracy theories, but not for much longer. So to anybody that's in America and voting today, I hope you can vote with your heart and I hope you can see through the lies and that you completely overwhelm. I mean, most of my, you know, colleagues, for want of a better term, are holding their breath because we all want desperately for Donald Trump to win. But we know that if it doesn't turn out that way, then it's meant to be that way for a bigger reason and a bigger purpose. So just hold, hold on to your hats and um, God bless America and God bless all of us and make America great again is not just a slogan. It's actually for all of us because America is the front line in this spiritual war. And we have won on multiple dimensions. I know this in my heart. I am an apocalyptimist. I have to say that to caveat that. And to those of you that disagree, well, I just wish you all the best because it's your personal spiritual journey at the end of the day. And um, I'm not doing this for popularity. I'm just doing it because uh, it's on my heart to do it. And I just want to send all our love to all our brothers and sisters in America on this fateful day. Remember, remember the 5th of November.